Hey, what's up guys? Bill here from Inspire Fitness. So today we have an awesome recipe for you guys today. My mom's gonna be helping me out. We got Korean style steamed eggs or kananjim in Korean. And I'm sure you guys have seen this in your local Korean restaurants, but it's already macro friendly as it is. But we're gonna be adding a little bit more protein by adding some shrimp into the dish and making the macros from this to this. So yeah, let's get cooking up guys. So the ingredient list will be down in the description below. So make sure you get everything before you start this recipe. So first things first, we got five eggs here. Three of them we're gonna use whole, but two of them we're only gonna be using the egg whites so we can add some protein without any fat. Up next, we got two tablespoons of diced carrots, 1.5 ounces of shrimp, three fourths a cup of water, a pinch or two of salt, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and we got one teaspoon of Korean dashi. This part is totally optional, but you could put it in for a little bit extra flavor. So first things first, let's break some eggs into a big enough container that can fit all the eggs. And uh, just keep in mind here that we are making two servings of this because you know we had to feed our whole family here. But um, what you wanna do for a single serving is to put three eggs and two egg whites in there so you can keep the fats low and get the proteins really high. So uh, just follow the ingredient list in the description below and you'll be good to go. Kinda do as we say and don't do as we do in this situation. So now we're gonna measure around three fourths of a cup of water and we're just gonna pour it into the egg mixture. This is gonna help it really puff up and turn into that classic steamed egg look. Up next, we got half a teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna put that right into the mixture. So now we're gonna put in one teaspoon of soy sauce. Remember, the better your soy sauce here, the better your dish is gonna taste. Now we got half a teaspoon or just a pinch of this dashi. This is Korean beef stock and adds so much flavor to any of the Korean dishes that we have here on the channel. So now it's time to mix it up here. There's something so satisfying about just kind of breaking eggs and making them into one solution, but be careful here. You don't want to over mix or you're going to end up with these really tough eggs. So just mix to the point where everything is nicely incorporated. So now that everything is all mixed in, you just want to add some carrots in here. This adds like a really good texture to the dish. Uh, it adds like a little bit of crunch, which is uh, always a plus. So now it's time to devein the shrimp and you wanna make sure you cut them into little tiny bite-sized pieces because we are gonna be putting in the raw egg and we want it to all kind of cook evenly. If you don't do this, you're gonna have some bits of shrimp that aren't cooked, so that's not gonna be pleasant. Uh, for me, you know, personally, I don't even care about deveining my shrimp. I mean, if it's in there, it's in there for me. So yeah, comment down below, what team do you fall into? Do you fall into like the cleaning your shrimp out or just kind of leaving it in like me? So making this dish is pretty simple. So just make sure that you have a pot where you can kind of put a lid over it and it's kind of enclosed like that. And um, you just want to go for 80% of the way there and that way it's going to puff up to the point where it turns into 100% of the pot. So after everything is poured in here, you want to make sure that you're on a high heat and you're constantly stirring. Uh, try not to use like a metal spoon like we did. It was really hot and it kind of like, you know, burned our hands. So make sure to use like a tall spatula or like a wooden one so that it doesn't really conduct the heat. But anyways, right here, it took maybe around five minutes to get to this point where the egg is kind of curling. You can see it changing color into that kind of like whitish, you know, color that really represents Korean steamed eggs here. So after the eggs are around halfway cooked, you just want to put a lid on and turn off the heat just for one minute and turn it back on to very low, the lowest setting you could put on so that it could just kind of steam inside of the enclosed area right there. So this is what's going to make that egg really puff up and turn into that really steamed keranjim like look that we always want to go for here. So now after maybe five minutes on low heat, you just want to take off the lid or the bowl that we used here and you're going to get this really awesome puffy steamed egg that's going to be super tender and super delicious. So that's really it to the rest of you guys. So we managed to put around 35 grams of protein into this dish. It's one of my favorite ways to cook up eggs. And if you guys like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you made it for yourself, please let us know in the comment section below or tag us on Instagram. And yeah, we hope to see you guys in the next one.